Hello! You're joining me on the Jurassic Coast coastal path here. Been, uh, well, walking for most of the afternoon really. It's been quite nice, a lot of uphilling though. <laughs> but um, I'm getting to a more remote spot. I want to get down here though. Um, I probably should have come across the beach rather than the coastal path. Um, and then come up onto the cliff a bit, but uh, I'm up on the top here, so I think I've got to go right the way along the cliff, down and along. But I'll look out for routes down along the way. But so far it's all been pretty sheer. <laughs> Might get down, but you won't get back up. <laughs> so yeah, looking for a nice spot, for a nice little coastal camp while I'm down here. Well, I'm making my way down the cliff here and it's uh, steep, narrow, precarious. I don't think it's used very much, this. Well, I've come all the way down from up there. That's one of the worst paths I've ever gone down. And, uh, Still got a bit to go. Path says it goes that way, but I can't see anything. That was horrible. <laughs> that was truly one of the worst paths I've ever walked along. It was more like a game trail. They could only put one foot in front of the other. You couldn't really see your feet. There's holes. I went over twice. <laughs> Once on my back, just slipped, because it's quite loose underfoot once right over because as soon as I went the weight of the pack just kept me going. It is quite nice down here though, it's um, more dense vegetation it looks from up the top which is often the case. You look off in the distance you're like oh that looks like a nice flat grassy spot until you get there. But um, there's definitely opportunities down here because there's no way I'm walking back up that cliff today. That's going to wait till tomorrow. No, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it is very isolated down here. It's beautiful. Oh, breeze. <laughs> so I have a quick rest and find a proper spot. walked along the coast a little bit further down here and I found this area which kind of looks perfect it's very bumpy and rocky here but I think I found a spot just behind the camera where here yeah, I found this little area which I'm quite liking it's very bumpy and rocky but I've only got a bivy bag so I think it will fit on a spot just behind the camera there and uh, yeah I'll get the nice Sunset here. Beautiful. That's what I love about doing this. Just finding these little spots that, you know, few people have been to and found. Just because of the struggle to get to them usually. There's actually a spot back there on the beach that doesn't look too bad as well. So if I change my mind, I can always go there. It doesn't look like the tide comes in that far. It's a lovely spot down here though. I'm gonna to have to come back one day. Just chilling out. I'm not gonna set up till a little bit later. Got a couple of hours of light left yet, just in case. But uh, yeah, I'm set on here. For those who don't know, the Jurassic Coast here is uh, so-called because of all the fossils that they find. I've not seen any as yet, but I've not really looked. <laughs> I'm just enjoying having a relax on the beach. 
I might have a little look in the morning or something, but uh, I'm not sure if this is one of the better spots or what. Sure is nice to uh, get out for another coastal camp before the summer's up. Definitely wanted to do at least one more. Might still be time for another one, we'll see how the summer goes. But that sun's really hot when it's out. I've got no sun cream on. <laughs> But yeah, I was just in uh, Dorset for a couple of days with a friend and I thought while I'm here I'll get out and uh, do a wild camp. Good excuse while I'm in the neighbourhood. Well, it's time for chicken tikka and rice. I've just noticed I've got less water than I thought because I didn't fill up one of my bottles, which was a bit silly. <laughs> and I'm miles from anywhere, so I will be reusing whatever I put in here. That's for sure. Get that lit. Put the stand on. Got a bit of a breeze. Oh God, that's hot. <laughs> They're quite good. I think they're my favourite, these Wayfarer meals, if I have to eat something like this. Oh god, that smells nice. Ooh. We've got a lump of chicken and some rice. I feel like I should have a naan bread or something. It is hot, but actually really nice. Mm. Just as the sun's starting to come down. Not sunset time yet though, but we're getting into that golden hour. Well, we're going with the snug pack bivy tonight. Like uh, using this and leaving the top open so I can see out of the night sky in the summer. Lovely little shelter. I've got this new Thermarest mat. My um, Trekology one broke, so I'm gonna look into that. But uh, for now, I've got this, which is Topo Lux, and it's a regular uh, wide uh, in. Let's see what adapter we've got with us. That should do. And just my Fathom EV sleeping bag, which I've been using on this trip so far. I 
with a mat this thick, it's pretty good to keep this open anyway because your face will be quite close to the uh, top. Cheeky beer time and I've got uh, anti-establishment IPA. A little bit shaken up on the walk-in. I don't think I'm going to pick it up on here, but there's two deer up there. And one just darted off. You can just about still see the other one. Oh, there's one. Right, it's time for a bit of dessert before bed. So I'm just going to use the same water as water is uh, low. And this is a sticky toffee pudding. Which I am looking forward to. Well, here's our Wayfarer sticky toffee pudding. It's like a slab of cake with sticky toffee sauce. Actually pretty nice, quite stodgy. It's just like the British Army ration ones. Mmm. I do love sticky toffee pudding. Well, it's really starting to chill down. It's not super late, I don't even think it's 10 o'clock yet, but uh, I thought I'd get in the bivvy, maybe watch Sank on the phone before I go to bed, and uh, we'll be back in the morning for breakfast. Wow, that was pretty windy up there on the cliff. <laughs> I had to get packed away pretty quick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wasn't pleasant once I was out of the uh, bivvy. But um, I've made my way down, had to traverse a 30 foot ladder, steps, something in between. <laughs> so I had to turn the camera off for that, obviously. But yeah, I've come down the beach a bit now and it's a bit more sheltered from the wind. 
and uh, I'll uh, heat up some breakfast here I think before uh, making my miles back. All right, let's get the stove fueled. Should probably be enough. Get a lit. Yeah, that's going. A little bit chilly. And we've got beans and sausages for breakfast. Push that down. Get her on. Beans and sausages, last meal of this trip. And it's hot. <laughs> Beautiful morning now. Down here, pretty much no wind at all. That's breakfast eaten. Feel fueled for the walk back now, so I'll leave you guys here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.